In the last several videos, we've looked at selectors. We've looked at CSS selectors and jQuery selectors. In this video, we're going to look at a method, the CSS method. So we use CSS to specify the CSS method. And then, just like every method, we need parentheses. And inside those parentheses, there's two things we need to be concerned about. First, we specify the property. And that is surrounded by quotes. You can either use single quotes or double quotes. And then you have to specify a comma and then you put in whatever value you want to put in. And so you can put any CSS property you want here. So let's go ahead and just change the color in this first paragraph. So we'll just specify the ID here, which of course is pound left. And like I said, we can use any property. So let's go ahead and use the color property and let's put in a value of blue. Let's change the text to blue. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and we'll hit our button down here and there you can see the text is blue. And again, we can use any CSS property we want here. Uh, let's go ahead and change the border and we'll put in the usual border values. So we'll make it solid, two pixels wide and we'll change it to red. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. If we hit our button, there you can see now we've got our red border. So let's go ahead and save an example of this so that you have this and I'll, we'll just put in a comment here. Now, you might be asking, how do I combine CSS rules? How do I do multiple rules? And the way we do that is first we have to use squiggly brackets to add multiple CSS rules. So we put that just inside the parenthesis and actually we wanna move this over here. So this actually equates to the CSS squiggly bracket. So if we go over to this style sheet, we need to have these squiggly brackets to have multiple rules. So let's go back to our web page. And now instead of having a comma here, you put a colon. And here's where the comma goes. It actually separates the rules. So we put a comma there and then we can put in a new rule. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and copy and paste this over here. And what we'll do Oops, we have to stay inside the bracket, okay. And what we'll do is we'll change the color of the text to blue, which we did in the first example. So we're gonna be doing multiple things. So now this is kind of useful because you can do a mass change at once. You can add as many different rules as you want. Just remember you have to separate it with a comma. So let's go ahead and save this. And if this works, we should have our border red and the color of our text blue, and it worked. Now, there are other ways to do multiple things, that is add multiple rules. And that is called chaining. And we will talk about that in a few videos. So just soak this in and we'll talk about a new method in the next video. See you guys then.